Well, a lot of people believe that when career is said and done, Umar Nurmagomedov could go down as one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. Injuries have been a part of the narrative. Wright had a main event against Corey Sandhagen that figured to be a great litmus test for him at 135 pounds. Was forced out of that fight due to injury. But not only is this man undefeated, he is one of the best, most versatile finishers in the UFC Bantamweight division. Sometimes he's late for practice at the American Kickboxing Academy, but no, he is one of the hardest workers in the space and skill for skill. Not just one of the best Bantamweights in the world, maybe creeping on that pound for pound list if he can get through some of these bigger challenges in this loaded Bantamweight division. Here's the oncoming Bantamweight force out of the great nation of Georgia, repping Team Saralongo there on the northeastern side of the U.S. May Rob Dwalish Willie has been on the championship course for a long time. He's got a big fight in front of him tonight. All he does is win, John, and he wins in a certain way. He pressures you and he breaks you down. I have seen so many great Bantamweights fight for Rob Dwalish Willie, and you can see they start to lose, not only physically, but in the spirit. He attacks you at a level that's higher than just your body. He's a great wrestler. He will put a pressured pace on you that not many people can stay with. And I'm not sure that any athlete has ever muted Jose Aldo's offense as much as Dwalish really did back in 2022. May Rob back under the bright lights tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile winning in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. All right, now our tale of the tape for this phantom weight scrap. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, third party in the octagon Wait. tonight. Wait. All right, so we'll see if Umar Nurmagomedov met up to get his takedown game going here early. That is not to suggest that he can't realize success on the feet in this particular matchup. Nurmagomedov truly has every skill that you could possibly want for a modern-day mixed martial arts athlete training out of the American Kickboxing Academy. But oftentimes for him, the path of least resistance has been taking the fight to the floor. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Outstanding kick there by Nermago. Fight behind a night jab. Some more output at least in the early going. Short shot to the head in the clinch. Take down defense. Oh, oh, oh. oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Umar Nurmagomedov getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Now he's going full mount. Gotta be careful here. Oh, 
Uh-oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Dwellis Willie. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Dwallace Willie's in half court. Great submission defense. Two minutes here to go in round one. Ground and pound strike there now. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Dwallace Willie's back in half court. Strikes nicely here from top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find way to pass and move to a submission. Good work from the top here by Dwallish Willis. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Seconds remain in the round. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten in the half guard. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Seconds remain in the round. Now he drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission. Uh, 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 that horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Go Second ahead. round on the way. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. It was three back. Cash. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate, and it was heavy. Every time he let loose, he was able to land and land to great effect. Dwallace Willie going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Man, these guys have some chains on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Dwallish Williams. Throws the tee. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is 
and the variety of finishes he has from this position. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Dwallis Willis. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Great job landing from the top position. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Side control now. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, he stays pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Nermago Man. Oh, nice. Oh, it's one triangle here. Ooh, that looks tight. Submission D. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Dwalish Willie. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Hammer fist here by Dwallis Willie. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Dwellis <laughs> Willie's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because Ready. his opponent is not defending. Third round underway. Takedown defense holds up. Beautiful high kick. Yeah. 
ball. Great block there. That is a damaging kick that land. Oh, big Superman punch there. So the head strike starting to pile up. Willie going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. He passes the half guard. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Dwalish Willie. Another ground and pound strike lands. Getting the ball here. He's got to be careful here. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Dwellis Willie. Another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal grounder. He's got to be careful here. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of this game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Dwellis Willie's in half guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Trying to recover full guard there. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. There's a beautiful strike from the bottom. Dwalish Willie going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes. Makes it look pretty well here. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Magomedov's eye starting to swell now. He's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, 
Unbelievable strike. You ready to fight? You ready? Four. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not going to recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. He's got no action to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body with his hand. And that's the detail that everybody's missing. He's sitting in the half bar, and his bottom half is securing his opponent. So his top half is moving. It's adjusting. He's posting his hand on his, on his face, dropping elbows. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. You gotta be kidding me, he's out. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands. Pass his body. Oh, he's out. Oh, All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. This is a terrible position. Smart adjustment, yep. Mago Medoff's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Just over three minutes to go. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Dwellish Wolf. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. In the half guard. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. And right into side control. Change of the position. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Mago Medoff's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Oh, he's got his back. Under two minutes now to go. Wallace Willie's got his back again. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Wallace Willie. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, hammer fist here by Twellis Willis. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Twellis Willis. Another strike gets through from the top position. Wallace Will is right back to the full mount here. Wow, he actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Twalus Will. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it.
The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. So there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets a finish he wants so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Wallace Willie gets caught by that straight punch there. Block the strike there and counters with an inside leg kick. Beautiful sequence there by Umar Nurmagomedov. Oh, that's a 15 inch oh, oh, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive hook land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Get those that kick blocked by Dwallish Willie. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has double leg here. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on Oh, got to protect your neck. Plantain choke is locked in. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Ramago Man. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, feet on the hips here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Dwallace Willie's back in full guard. There it is. Now he's running him up. Beautiful transition. Dwallace Willie's eye now closing up. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. <laughs> Under three minutes remain in round five. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Wallace Willie's back in full mount. Oh, how about it? Just what the doctor ordered. He gets back to the feet. John, it's like a Hail Mary. He needed to get up to his feet to give himself an opportunity. He got there. Now let's see if he can cash in. Oh, nice jab. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Umar Nurmagomedov. All right, very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't... Oh, the beginning of the end here. Oh, misses with the shot. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Well, I'm no 
fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and kick your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Really good level change. Great defense by the fighter. Final seconds of this fight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Hermako Medov. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. We'll Ladies see how the judges saw it. Here rounds, is Bruce Buffer. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, Morab the Machine, Wally Schroeder. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he 